Hi fellow reefers, this is Eddie of Eddie's Reef Aquarium. In today's video, I want to bring up a solution when it comes to frag plugs. So like, for instance, I have here an example for, of a frag plug, as you all must be aware how they look. And then what happens is, as you must be aware, the corals, the frags are glued on top of these frags. But in some cases, you might say, well, you know, the frag plug, uh, you know, where do I put it on, on the rock so it looks natural? Or some people, what they do is they actually cut the stem and they glue it on a rock. Like for instance, let's say this rubble, uh, if you were to put the, the plug, then it might not look too well. And then they have to cut the stem. Well, there's a solution to the problem, a uh, solution that I've researched about it and, and I've come up with something that will look more natural. Although, going back to the frag plug uh some and most of the frags as they start to encrust uh let's say on the plug they will take the configuration of the actual plug but in some cases in reference to the type of coral frag that you're using it might not look natural so to remedy that i've come up with this solution that i have seen other fellow youtubers reef keepers to do what do they do they just get a, a piece of rubble, a piece of live rock. In this case, it's a Pukani rock, but you know, a dry rock. And what do they do? They'll go ahead, they'll use some glue. This is the actual glue that, that I use. They'll go ahead and, and put glue on one of these little rubbles and actually glue the frag on, on, on this piece of rubble. Then, uh, of course, with this being, shall we call it your frag plug, then you can go ahead and place this any part on the uh, aquascape that you've created on the substrate or something. It'll, no, it'll look much more natural than actually the actual plug. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get one of my little frags that I've had for quite a while. I'm going to go ahead and do the process so I'll show you and I'll demonstrate it so you see how it actually happens. How I go ahead and glue a frag into one of these plugs, actually, you know, into one of these uh, rubble, and you'll see how more natural it actually looks. So stand by and I'll go ahead and do that process. Okay, and here we are. Uh, what I did is I got a, a regular cup that I have here and I put some uh, aquarium water. I have gloves on, as you notice, you know, regular gloves. Uh, due to the fact that I, I don't know if uh, your fellow YouTubers in the reef uh, hobby, you know, but every time you put uh, your hands in any aquarium, uh, whether it's fresh water or salt water, but you can actually see it more on reef uh, aquariums uh, due to the pores of, of your skin, your sweat and all that, you probably might notice that when you put your hands inside uh, any of these uh, aquariums with corals, the corals tend to get uh, upset. They, they kind of will close or something. Um, you know, there, there is a, a reaction. Definitely, there's always been a reaction when you put your hands in uh, any of, uh, of an uh, aquarium when it comes to reef keeping. That's why the motto and the rule of thumb when it comes to reef keeping is I mean, not unless if it's necessary, but try to keep your hands away as many times as possible from putting them inside and out, in and in, you know, in, in the reef tank. So to avoid that, matter of fact, I even have gloves that go all the way up uh, in my arm if I wanted to move rocks or things of that nature, corals. But I went ahead and got these regular gloves so it won't uh, cause any reaction or any effect when it comes to the frags or any corals. So here, like I mentioned, I, I put some, uh, I went ahead and, and put some uh, water uh, from the tank and I have a, a plug, a frag here. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna uh, separate the uh, plug. Of course, this has gotta be done with a uh, knife or an apparatus that it's really stainless steel so nothing happens, okay. There's a little algae here on the side. Okay. Let me take that off. Uh, let me get a little brush. Hold on. Okay. 
this is what I use. I have a regular uh, dedicated um, toothbrush just for the tank to take algae off and things of that nature. Okay, so here we are. Okay. Now you notice I'm touching the, the frag all over the place, but it's safe to do due to the fact that I have gloves on. And all I'm going to do is, let me put this aside, I'm going to look at, uh, at this uh, rock and see where I could place it. Let's see. So that it would, it would look natural like I was explaining before. Let's take this knife away here. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but this, this would be like a, a nice, um, uh, setup as you notice it here so i'm going to go ahead and glue it so i'm going to get uh the bsi which is the uh glue it's a gel that i use and i'm just going to place it on the frag now these type of glues these type of gels immediately when you put the glue and you put it in water, that's it. Let's check it again. I personally think that that looks natural. Let me get a close shot. A close up. There you go. Turn it around. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and put it in the water and it'll uh, start to harden up. Okay. That's it. There you have it. So there you have the uh, frag that I've actually taken it off from the frag plug, as you must be aware. And I go ahead and I uh, glued it on this um, little rubble. And when this uh, frag starts to grow, it'll encrust into the rock, but it'll look more natural than actually a frog plug. So that's basically it. That's all I wanted to bring up in this video. I hope you liked it and you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up, the like button. If so, share it with your fellow uh, YouTubers. You can, you're welcome to make a comment. And if you like to, you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And like I always say at the end of all my videos, happy reefing. Thank you very much for watching this video. Bye-bye.